Welcome to Jump Cloud's Directory as a Service. Today we're going to be going over how to add your company's Mac systems in a Jump Cloud, leveraging our Jump Cloud agent. To add a new system, you'll want to navigate to the Systems menu on the left hand side. Simply click the plus button in the top left. You'll see the new system slide out of pane appear from the right hand side. Select the Mac tab in the pane. Here you can see both the Download Mac Agent and the Connect Key items for Mac. Go ahead and click on the Download Agent button to download Jump Cloud's Mac Agent. Below the Download Mac Agent button, you'll see a Connect Key. This is a unique key that is required during the install in order to add the new Mac system to your Jump Cloud organization. Additionally, there are two methods of installation, Manual Install and Command Line Install with options for running unattended. We'll cover the manual install of the Jump Cloud agent and taking over Bob's local Mac account with his associated Jump Cloud account. To get started, you'll need to log into your machine as a local administrator. Download the Jump Cloud agent and navigate to the folder which contains the install, then run the Jump Cloud agent install. Once the agent installation window appears, continue through until it asks you for the administrative password. Continue through the install until you get to the Connect Key input screen. Copy your Connect Key from your Jump Cloud organization into the Connect Key field and hit Next. The following menu will ask you for the Secure Token Admin Password. This is required to manage FileVault enabled Macs or to enforce FileVault policies from Jump Cloud to Mac systems. The Jump Cloud Agent install will create its own local administrator account with Secure Token privileges. To learn more about Secure Token, check out our Jump Cloud KB covering the topic in more detail. Type in your local administrator password here and continue through the installation. Once the Jump Cloud Agents install is completed, the addition of this new Mac system into Jump Cloud can take up to two minutes. We can now see that the system BFA002 has been successfully added. By clicking on the system, we can pull up various attributes and information about the system. The next step is to take over the pre-existing local account for Bob Fay, binding his Jump Cloud user account to his this associated system, which we've just added into Jump Cloud. Please note that when binding Jump Cloud users to Jump Cloud systems, account takeover will only occur if the username of the local Mac account matches the Jump Cloud user's username configuration. Otherwise, a new local Mac account is provisioned on the system based upon the Jump Cloud user's username. To bind Bob Fay's Jump Cloud account to his Jump Cloud system, click on the Users tab and search and select the user that you'd like to bind to the system. You can also promote or demote a user's privileges as well during this process. Since Bob Fay is currently an administrator on this Mac machine, we're going to demote him to a standard local user with no admin rights. Go ahead and hit Save User. On the Mac system, we can see that Bob was neither logged out nor forced out of his current session. In order for JumpCloud to fully take over the account, the user must perform a full logout and login on his or her Mac. When at the login screen in Mac, the user must type in their previous password as well as their JumpCloud password to sync the keychain in macOS. The user will then be fully taken over by JumpCloud with their JumpCloud password attributed to their Mac account. Additionally for Mac users, they'll see a JumpCloud app in the top right taskbar. They should use this JumpCloud app at any time in order to update or change their passwords for their JumpCloud account and connected resources. Thanks again for watching this tutorial over adding your company's Mac systems into JumpCloud and taking over pre-existing local Mac accounts.